Hey everybody, my name is Charlie Hunt, and you see me here with uh, balloons, and uh, you may be shocked if I told you these balloons weren't real, and I was actually playing a game called Connect Party for Xbox 360 and Connect, and uh, I got this event for kids coming up, but it's kind of like a bring your child to work day event, and um, I, the first thing I thought of is like, let's get this thing going, let's, uh, let's have some fun with it. And I, I'm excited to have this out on a big screen TV for them and just have it chill. But I'm also like just bummed that this thing doesn't exist. Like they haven't ported it. Microsoft's done nothing with their Kinect games. Like they pushed it too hard on the Xbox 360 or on the Xbox One and it just didn't take among other things. And so they're like, never again. And I'm not asking them to make new hardware. I question if an off-the-shelf off uh, webcam could be set up to do this now. But um, it's just a bummer that games like... Games like Connect Party, especially, like, aren't available anymore. And, like, the only dancing game is really Just Dance, and, like, a lot of this stuff is went because this thing is janky as all get out, but it's really, really awesome, like, to see technology pushed in this direction. Um, and it's like back when things weren't afraid to be janky, like, like what you're seeing there, that looks awful and broken. But now we have games with like quarter billion dollar budgets that come out like once every seven years. And we don't have stuff like this. Like we have indie games, but we don't have stuff that's sponsored by a corporation actually trying things. And it's just a bummer that it didn't work out for them. I don't even see myself in that picture. Oh, I guess that's me getting up and stuff. Oh, there I am. But um, yeah, this game is great because it's it's less of a game and just more something fun to mess around with, which is popular now. I feel like if the the TikTok kids saw Connect Party, like they'd be having a great time, and it, like all those Instagram filters, like. Imagine something where you can just create and not have it attached to your whole your whole persona like Instagram is, and it's not some Chinese psyop, but it's just something fun that you can mess around with. And I put my kids in front of this. It took like a couple minutes to get everything together and even recording from this because I got to record through an external capture card. But this is hilarious, and it's just me hanging out. So um, Connect Party is really special. Uh, I implore Microsoft, I mean, Phil Spencer is really big on game preservation. Start in your own backyard, man. You could set this up with Logitech or whoever, an external camera. It doesn't even need to work right. Be like, we're trying something new here, or here's a cheaper version of the connector, here's a connect adapter, and let's just run it. And it'll make us look silly, but it's showing that we're still dedicated to this huge initiative that we poured billions of dollars into. And... um and put you're spending so much money on development. Pay some people to make cool experiments this, and just put them out. Like, don't cancel them. Like, you have Game Pass now, so you don't even have to charge real money. It can just be a slot on that thing. And like, this is wonderful. And this gets people's brains going. Like, maybe I could do something different. Oh, maybe me and my friends could go out with a camera and make something like this. And it's just letting people be creative without having to take them past a, a coding route. And this thing has like 30 of these little uh, image things on them. And it was 10 bucks all in. And not for everybody, not for your Call of Duty bros, but I think that market is lost even though Microsoft owns Call of Duty. But you can be special. You can do cool things. Let me go up and try to get this thing. Did I get it? Nope. Um, so yeah, it seems like when I fire up my 360, I mean, it's slow. And a lot of those games just run, just really chug. But there's just something so special with a lot of stuff on here. And towards the end, Microsoft really got a little, I don't know if it was money hungry or what, but they really start, stopped supporting their own development uh, of games and expected to just be able to take that 30%. And that kind of got them in the Xbox One days. But... Um, 
they have a chance. I mean, they have, even with all those layoffs, they have a ton of developers to do cool stuff with, and they can still work on those giant Titan franchises. Bethesda can still make a Starfield, but they can have people exploring, and maybe they do, but make something minimum viable product and just call it like Xbox Experiments. Like X, Xbox allows self-publishing now. So you could even set up a grant where like, here's a connect adapter. We're going to have some fun and everything's going to be cross play with the PC. We're just trying something new here and uh, create with us because you are kings. So uh, if you have an Xbox 360 before the sh- store shuts down, you can buy this game for five bucks and then unlock everything for $10. It's worth it just to have it. Um, I am very bummed because I can't figure out how to get this to work without being online. Um, but I look forward to sharing this with uh, the kids that come to bring your child to work day. And I look forward to sharing it with you. And I'll put some clips of my kids playing to this thing too. So thank you for watching and take care. Thank you.